hello guys in this video tutorial we're gonna talk about as this command and how it can be useful to gather some sensitive information that is not generally viewed through your terminal okay for that suppose that i have a attacker money machine this is my attacker machine which is running on virtual machine and you know it's especially for those hackers who are already inside someone else's system and want to know that what other guys are doing on their system or what commands are they running on their terminals for that I am first SSH on the main machine and since my main machine is my victim machine so 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 the IP of that system is actually 192.168.122.1 and the password has been entered now I'm on the main system and I can check it by who am I I'm root of that system now you know I have to trace some terminal on which some admin guy or some other guy is doing his stuff and I want to trace those things so for that I need to first know that what are, how many terminals are actually open and here you can see that log 4 terminals are actually open and you know pts4 is mine because it shows my IP here so I need to trace some another terminal let's suppose this one first I need to know which is this terminals t pts's so tty show that it's pts2 that's fine now I need to trace that so first what I require is I require the process ID of that terminal for that I run a command ps hyphen aux and I'm grabbing from that pts slash 2 I think yeah so it shows that 16579 is the process ID and a shell is running on that process so it's obvious you know the when terminal open a shell is opened so I need to trace that and first I want to show you the manual page of asterisk what it actually is let's see so manual shows that it trace system calls and signal and in simple language it just show all the backend programs backend thing run in your done in your system when you enter some command or some process is done so you know for trace that we use as trace hyphen fee p sorry to enter the port and the process id which is one six five seven nine i think yeah now it start reading the terminal now suppose i run some command on this let's run date you can see some changes on the background and I enter it now here there's lots of stuff is there but when you scroll up you can see that you can see that user bin date has been accessed means date has been run let's try something else let's try who am I who am I so I'm root that's nice and here again you can see that who am i has been assessed mean who am i is being run on the terminal now let's move on some nice stuff some useful stuff and now suppose i sss on another system and i'm actually assessing on this this system my black box system and for that i run ssh at 192.168.122.38 which is this main attacker systems IP and I'm SSHing and the password is 12345 and I enter the password actually so permission in I, I think I forgot the password but that doesn't matter but you know in, turn, in this uh, this uh, terminal you must show it the password must be visible but you know when you scroll up you can see the ssh has been run but the password is not there so we need to find out that what the password is being entered on the system so for that i'm closing this but i need to grab something else 
and I am running PS hyphen AUX again. Now I am grabbing SSH services. So I grab SSH and you can see that there is lots of SSH program running but we are actually interested in uh, which one we are interested in yeah I think this is the important no I think 1777 is the process ID which we need to grab the password of the SSH which has been entered okay. actually this is not what we need I think this is the thing that's 18191 is the process ID which we need this one because you know here it you can show that show see that SSH root that this thing has been entered so let's trace it so s trace hyphen p and one eight one nine one and I enter it okay so it starts reading now I'm entering the password and I am entering one two three four five one two three four five and actually the connection is closed but here it must be visible somewhere and if you scroll up you can see that it has it one two three four five okay and you know if you start this thing much earlier you can see that when the password dialog boxes come to come on the display it, you can see that when it has been come and after then how uh, password has been uh, password has been shown or entered okay so this is how you can see that what the password are actually been entered and you know it's nice to see that because SSH doesn't give you functionality to view the password which you are entering so through that you can see that and let's try something else you know uh, now I'm trying to change my password of uh, another user which is Red Hats and I entered it now it gave me a dialog box of entering a new password and you know if I enter something you will not be able to see it but through that we can even see that thing also so for that we have to grab that command which is I think password when I entered it you can see that password red hats command has been entered and its process ID is 18425 so let's trace it and hyphen v 18425 ok it starts reading now let's enter the password now I'm entering the new password quality q w e r t y and I press enter here you can find that retype new password box is even showing and if you scroll up you can see that here quality has been visible so that's the really nice thing this is how you can find every information and if I retype the password q w e and press enter then the password has changed and here I can even see that all authentication token has been updated and if I scroll up it must be you can see that etc password has been accessed through this and you can okay here even the root passwords some initial things are being visible and uh, uh, if you scroll up you can find out the password somewhere ok here it is let's see uh, it, yo, ok here it is I think it is the same thing which we see earlier but it must be somewhere in the system so this is how you can use stress command to grab some really juicy information which are generally not visible to other guys or on your terminal so that's all for this video and thank you for watching it